So why is it so challenging for people to leave this type of situation? Oh, April, the, the barriers are myriad and it really is on an individual basis. Um, I found it hard to leave because we worked at the same place. I had a, a, a son who was in school. Um, we, were, we were living very well, not rich, not even middle class, but we were living well. Um, we were tied into everything. I was very, very fearful. Um, so uh, there's fear. Let's talk about emotion. There's fear, there's shame, there's humiliation. There's who do I talk to? Nobody's gonna believe this is happening to me. Then let's talk about, about, about some of the pragmatic and practical issues. How do I move my kids to school? Where am I gonna go? What is shelter like? I don't, I don't know that I wanna to go to shelter. Uh, you know, unless it's an emergency. What will my family and friends think? Do I have family to go to? What will it mean now that I only have one income if I even have a job? Remember, sometimes abusers don't even let their victims have jobs because it gives them control. Um, it, I've never managed a budget because he's paid all the bills or she's paid all the bills. How do I do that when I leave? Um, the issues are just amazing. But what I always remind people of is that victims don't get into relationships because they wanted to be abused. They got into relationships because they thought they were loved and they loved. And I ask people all the time, particularly those have not, have not been in an abusive relationship, how many times did you look back and say, oh, I was in that relationship too long? No, minimize the abuse, but let's not forget that, that you know, people don't, don't get into this be, because they want to be abused. They get into it because they have hope and they have love and, and they remain sometimes because they still have hope that it will be fixed.